Hi, good morning reception and welcome to your Friday storytelling session. Now your job this morning is a really fun one. You are going to create your own version of the gingerbread man with your very own characters. Now, because we're not at school, I'm in my house. I haven't got my lovely storytelling basket that I usually use. So instead, I've got a storytelling telling suitcase full of different characters from the girls' playroom. So maybe you could create your own storytelling suitcase full of all the different characters you've got around your house and use them for your story. Now, if we're thinking about the story of the gingerbread man, we need a main character and our main character is going to be the character who does the running away like the gingerbread man but it doesn't have to be a gingerbread man perhaps let's have a look in my storytelling suitcase perhaps your main character could be a dog don't see why not they're very good at running perhaps your main character could be a baby in a pram and it's a runaway pram that's running down the hill all by itself and everybody's chasing it to catch it. Perhaps your main character could be a dinosaur who is running away from his mummy and his daddy dinosaur because it's time for bed and he does not want to go to bed. And the baby dinosaur is running away as fast as he can from his mummy and daddy. And first of all, he might pass a mermaid who might say to him, where are you going, young dinosaur? You know it's very late, you should be going to bed. But he carries on running past the mermaid as fast as he can, roaring, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a dinosaur and I don't want to go to bed. And he carries on running. Maybe the little dinosaur might run past a snowman. And as the dinosaur runs past him, the snowman says, where are you going, little dinosaur? It's jolly late. You should be in bed. And the dinosaur runs past saying, no, no, you can't catch me. I'm a dinosaur and I don't want to go to bed. But maybe next, the dinosaur could run past. My goodness, I've got so many things in here. I've got a pirate. I've got a, I think it's a unicorn or my little pony. I've got a princess. I've got a reindeer. You might recognise that reindeer. I've got a, uh, oh, I've got a vampire. He's going to run past a vampire. And as he runs past the vampire, the vampire says, where are you going, little dinosaur? It is very late. You should be in bed. That's meant to be my vampire accent. And the dinosaur says, oh, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a dinosaur and I don't want to go to bed. Now, after the dinosaur or your character, whatever your character might be, has run past as many characters as you want him to run past. He needs to get to a sticky situation at the end, doesn't he? There needs to be a finish to your story. So you need to save one character, maybe your very final character, for right at the end. Now the gingerbread man meets the fox, doesn't he? And he tries to cross the river and the fox offers him a ride and gobbles him up. hope nobody heard that. But what's going to happen at the end of your story? Perhaps your character could meet a really lovely, kind reindeer who, gear, who pushes the baby in the pram all the way back up the hill to mummy and daddy, who hadn't even noticed the baby was missing. Oh, my goodness. Maybe your character meets a teeny, tiny little goblin who um, becomes best friends with the dog and they hang out together having uh, walks and fun games with all his toys every single day. That'd be quite a lovely ending, wouldn't it? But maybe my naughty little dinosaur could meet... Let me have a look through. I've got... What have I showed you so far? Have I shown you the spaceman? Or a, fa a fairy. Perfect. The very final character that my dinosaur is going to run past, I've got them the wrong way around, is the fairy. And as he runs past the fairy, she says, excuse me, little dinosaur, it's jolly late, don't you think you should be in bed? He says, oh, you can't catch me, I'm a dinosaur and I don't want to go to bed. But the fairy is a magical fairy. She 
is fairy dust in her pocket. She scoops a little bit of fairy dust out of her pocket and sprinkles it on top of the dinosaur. And the dinosaur will go, oh, oh, don't yawn, it's not bedtime for us. But it is bedtime for the dinosaur. The fairy dust makes him very sleepy and suddenly he realises that actually, maybe it is quite late and actually, maybe he does want to go to bed. So he goes all the way back home and he finds his mummy and his daddy dinosaur. And he lets them snuggle him in bed. And that's the end of my dinosaur version of the gingerbread man. I can't wait to see what ideas you have. I bet you have got way more exciting characters and ideas than I had. Now, if you'd like to share your story with me and Mrs Bale and all your friends, you've got a few options. You can have a go at writing it yourself. That's option number one. Or you can ask someone older than you to be your scribe. That's a jolly fancy word, isn't it? That means they do the writing for you. So the important job in this task is the thinking, the imagination. So it's absolutely fine to ask a mummy, daddy, granny, big brother or big sister to do the writing for you, as long as the ideas are yours, okay? So you could write it or somebody older could write it for you. Or option three, you could do a video like this talking to the camera and telling your story, just like I've done. You could even use your little characters in the story and act it if you'd like. I really love watching that. Or option number four, if you're feeling a bit shy of the camera, is you can get your phone. Oh, obviously you don't have a phone, your mummy or your daddy's phone. And you can record it on your phone like a storybook that you might listen to in the car in your ears. So we can listen to your story without having to look at you, without having to be on camera. So you've got four options of ways to share your stories with me and Mrs. Bell and your friends. You can write it yourself. You can ask a grown-up to write it for you. You can do a video or you can do a recording of it. And if you would like to, you can post them on Teams for everybody to see. Or you can just email them to me and Mrs. Bale so we can watch them. And I can't wait to hear your own versions of the gingerbread man.